before we start our look, we're going to prime our lids first. Then go in with an eyeshadow the same color as your skin and apply that color from your crease up to your brow bone. We are avoiding the lid because later on we will be applying a sticky base to the lid area. I'm now going in with a cool transition shade. I'm using Anastasia Nude eyeshadow and I'm just using a Hakuhodo J5522 to messily apply that all over the crease. Next, we're going to be going with Anastasia Warm Taupe eyeshadow and I'm going to be using a Hakuhodo J5523 to kind of put that a bit deeper in the crease and make it a bit more defined. Then we're going to very quickly blend out that warm taupe. Now for the lid color. This is our duochromatic eyeshadow Darling Girl Faux Pas. That second swatch is Faux Pas over a black base and the black base is NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. You can see it really brings out that blue duochromatic shimmer. That last swatch is Faux Pas over Fierne Pixie Epoxy. You can see that it really brings out the blue shimmer without dulling out the base color. I'm going to go in with Fierne Pixie Epoxy and I'm just going to pat that all over the lid and then spread it out with my finger. I chose this base because eventually we're going to be blending that lid color into the crease and the lid base color is very similar to the crease color we have. Once that base gets tacky, then we can start patting the duochromatic eyeshadow onto the lid with a MAC 239 brush. I am bringing that lid color up to the crease because eventually I'm going to be using a small blending brush to precisely blend in that crease. Now we're going back in with Warm Taupe using a Hakuhodo J146 brush. This brush is excellent at precisely blending in your crease. It's so good at blending the edge of the lid color that almost seems like the lid color is part of the crease. It's that good at blending. Now we're going back in with Nude using a Koyudo BP033 brush. Because this brush is made out of gray squirrel hair, it doesn't deposit a ton of color, so it gives us a nice gradual blend. It takes a bit more time, but in the end, it will look so much better. Better. Now I'm going in with City Color Cosmetics Shimmer Shadow in Breezy. I always like using a lower lash line color that matches the duochromatic shimmer in a duochromatic lid color, so I love doing this. I'm also going to keep the outer uh, portion empty. I'm going in with City Color Cosmetics Shimmer Shadow in It's a Boy using the previous brush, a Koyuto C011. I'm going to be applying this color to the outer half of the lower lash line. I felt like the previous color we used was a little too light, so I felt like adding this color to kind of darken up things a little bit. Now I'm going in with Sheer Cosmetics Dins Fire using a Sonia Kashuk Small Eyeshadow Brush. The duochromatic eyeshadow we use actually has a little bit of purple flashes in certain angles of light, so I felt like using this uh, shade in the inner corner kind of to reflect upon that color and blending it out if it's too harsh. Now curl your lashes and add mascara. And this is the final look without false lashes. I decided to apply Coco Lashes Misha and this is how the look looks like with those false lashes. I'm going to be bronzing up my face with Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Radiant Light. I'm just gonna put that around the perimeter of my face and the areas that the sun would kiss my face. Using a Chikahota Sakura powder brush. This powder brush is really good for bronzing your face because of the angle the brush has. I'm now going in with Anastasia Contour Powder in Fawn using a Chikahota Sakura cheek brush. And I'm just gonna place that under my cheekbones and blending that contour upwards. I'm now going in with Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Incandesa Electra. And I'm going in with that same cheek brush we use for our contour. I'm going to be highlighting with Hourglass Ambient Lightning Powder and Incandescent Light and I'm going to be pointing that on the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, and I will be applying it with my finger on my cupid's bow. It will be a bit more concentrated when you apply it that way. I'm now going in with Bite Beauty Musk Lipstick. You guys even read that label and you know I'm just going to be applying lipstick as you normally would. I'll go and set my face with Scandinavia Setting Spray. I'm using the bridal version just because it looks better in photos. And we're all done. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.